Hi, welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to make this cactus plant. Here in Mexico we actually call it biznaga. So you might also have actually a different name for this kind of plant. If you know the name in English, please let me know in the comments. As you can see on the title, you won't have to sell almost anything on this design. If you haven't subscribed yet, this is the right moment to do it, so you don't miss any one of the next tutorials. You are currently watching the beginner's version. Here I'm giving you step-by-step -step instructions. If you are more experienced, you can see the version for experts. The link is going to be on the description. Also, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. There you can tag me to see your creations. You find me as Creando con Musa. Now let's talk about the materials. Here I'm using 4mm safety eyes. And for the yarn, you can use the one of your preference. Still I'm going to show you the tag of the one I use for you to see the characteristics. Also I'm using a 2mm hook, some stuffing, more scissors and a needle. And now we are ready to start. I'm going to start with a flower. For this I'm going to make a magic ring. And on this magic ring I'm going to make five petals. I'm going to give you the instructions for each one of these petals. They are made the same way. So, for the first petal I'm going to make two chains, one and two. And now I'm going to make one half double crochet. Like this. And to finish my petal, I'm going to make once again two chains. One, two, and one slip stitch. This is the first petal. Let's make the second one. Remember, they are all made the same. Chain two, one, two. Now half double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and slip stitch. Now for the petal number three chain two, half double crochet, chain two, one, two, and slip stitch. Now the petal number four, chain two, half double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. And our last petal, chain two, half double crochet, chain two, and slip stitch. Now to completely finish our flower, I'm going to make one chain, cut the thread, and pull it. And I'm going to close this circle, pulling the thread from the beginning. And we have finished our flower. I'm going to keep it here for later. Now we are going to make the plant. We are going to start with a magic ring. And for the first round I'm going to make 10 single crochet.
one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now I'm going to pull the thread from the beginning to close this circle. And on this piece, we are going to close each one of our rounds. To do it, I'm going to the top of the first single crochet and make a slip stitch there. Like this. We have finished round number one and it has a total of 10 stitches. Now for the round number two, we are going to make 10 increases of double crochet. This means we are going to make two double crochet on each one of the stitches from the previous round. In the end of this round, we will have a total of 20 stitches. Since we are closing our rounds, we are going to start this time with two chains. One and two. And on this same space, I'm going to make my first increase. On this same place, I'm going to make one second double crochet to make my increase. And that's it. This is my first increase. When we reach half of a round, we are going to add our flower. So I'm going to make it step by step so you can understand easily. This is my first increase out of 10. Let's go to the second increase. Next stitch. And here I'm going to make one and two double crochet. Now on the next stitch, I'm going to make my increase number three. Here I make two double crochet, one and two. Now my increase number four on the next stitch. On the next stitch, increase number 5. I'm going to start making one of the double crochet and on the second double crochet I'm going to add my flower. So I'm going to start yarning over and here I'm going to grab my flower. I'm going through one of these threads like this and now I'm going to the stitch where my my double crochet is going to be here and now I'm going to make my double crochet the regular way first I'm going through the plant and the flower and here I have my three loops so I'm going to finish my double crochet the regular way, going through two of the loops and going through the other two loops. Next is my increase number six. Once again, I'm going to add a little bit of my flower. So I'm going to start my first stitch. And with my second stitch, I'm going to add a little bit of the flower. So my flower is like this. I'm going to yarn over to make my stitch. But I'm going through one of the threads of the flower and now I can go to the stitch where my double crochet is going to be. And here I'm going to yarn over and going through the plant and through the flower. And here I finish my double crochet. 
Next is my increase number 7. Increase number 8. Increase number 9. And increase number 10. And remember we are closing our rounds. So I'm going to make a slip stitch on the top of my first double crochet. Like this. And we have finished round number two. It has a total of 20 stitches. And we have joined a little bit of our flower. Now for the round number three. Here we are going to make once again 20 stitches. But this time we are going to make front post double crochet stitches. So to start, I'm going to make one chain and I'm going to make double crochet stitches but I'm going to grab, instead of going through the top of my stitches I'm going to grab the stitch like this to go to the front post yarn over, pull the thread we have three loops and yarn over, go through two of the loops and yarn over to go through the rest of the two loops. This is my first front post double crochet. I'm going to make one of these on each one of the stitches from the previous round. But when we reach the middle, I'm going to add a little bit of this flower once again, just to secure it really tight. So this was my first stitch, let's go to the second one. Let me show you once again how I make my front post double crochet. Yarn over and instead of going through the top, I'm going like this, yarn over and pull it to the outside and we make our double crochet the regular way. Now my stitch number 3 Stitch number 4 Stitch number 5 Stitch number 6 Seven, eight, nine, ten, and on the stitch number eleven, I'm going to add a little bit of this flower to secure it. So I'm going to start my stitch the regular way, once again I'm going through my stitch like this and here I'm going through one of the threads from the flower like this. Now I yarn over and pull the thread through the flower and through the body of my plant. and. Here I make my double crochet the regular way, going through two of the loops and once again two of the loops. This was my stitch number 11 and now I'm going to make my stitch number 12. Thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19 and 20. Now I'm going to close my round going through the top of my first stitch and making one slip stitch. And we have finished round number 3. Like I said before, it's got a total of 20 stitches. We have joined our little flower and to hide these threads I'm going to the inside and with my hook I'm going to pull them like this and to secure them I'm going to make one knot between the thread from the beginning of my work and the threads from the end of my flower. Cut the excess and we can keep going. Next is round number four. Here we are going to make once again 20 stitches. One on each one of the stitches from the previous round. Remember we are making front post double crochet. To start this round I'm going to make one chain and start making my stitches. This is the first one, just like in the round before. And keep going until we reach the stitch number 20. This is number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a 20. To finish our round, we are going to make one slip stitch on the top of the first stitch we had made. Now for the round number 5, we are going to make exactly the same we did on this round. Chain 1 and make 20 front post double crochet. This is the first one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And to finish the round, slip stitch on the first stitch we had made. 
Now on the round number 6, once again we are going to make front post double crochets, but this time we are going to start making 1 decrease and then 3 stitches. And repeat this process a total of 4 times. In the end of this round we will have a total of 16 stitches. Let's do it step by step. First I'm going to make one chain and make my decrease. To make my decrease I'm going to show you how I do it but if you have another method and you like it and it works for you then do it, it's okay. So to make my decrease I'm going to yarn over, go to the first stitch, yarn over and pull the thread. And here I have three threads on my hook. So I'm going to yarn over and pull two of these threads. And I have two threads on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and go to the next stitch. Pull, yarn over and pull it. And now I have four threads on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull two of these threads. Now I have three threads on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull all of these three threads. Here I just did my first decrease. Now I'm going to make three front post double crochet. This is the first one. and three. I just finished my first repetition. Remember we are going to make four repetitions. So to start my second repetition I'm going to make one decrease Now three stitches, one, two, and three. I just finished repetition number two. Now let's make repetition number three. One decrease. And three stitches. And now my last repetition, the repetition number four. One decrease. And three stitches. Like I said before, in the end of this round we will have a total of 16 stitches. Now to finish the round we are going to make one slip stitch on the first stitch we had made on this round. And now I'm going to chain three times. One, two and three. Cut the thread and pull it to secure it. And we just finished this piece. Here I'm going to add my eyes. Remember, these eyes have a measure of 4 millimeters, and they are so small that they actually don't have any backings. So I'm going to have to secure them in a different way. Let me show you how I do it. First, we are going to place them um, two rounds before the end. This is the last round. This is the next one and here we are going to place the eyes between this kind of B stitch. Um, this is the back of my plant and I'm going to the front, find the middle, the center and in one of the sides I'm going to place my eye.
and for the other eye I'm going to skip one, two stitches and on the third I'm going to place it. It's going to look like this. Now to secure my eyes I'm going to melt them with a lighter and once they are completely melt I'm going to flatten them with the same lighter. Just like this. And I think this makes them really secure. Same process with the other eye. And there you have it. Next I'm going to make my mouth. I'm using black yarn and on the inside on the inside I'm going to secure my thread. And I'm coming out about here. Now to the other side, about the same height. And out once again, but in the middle and a little bit under. To make a really good smile. Now I'm going to secure this, going once again to the inside and making a knot. I'm going to start stuffing this piece. Now we are going to the next steps. Now let's make the pot. Start with a magic ring. We will make eight single crochet for the first round. This is the first one. Now number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm going to pull the thread from the beginning to close this circle. And we just finish round number one. Now for the round number two, we are going to make one increase on each one of the stitches from the previous round. In the end of this round, we will have a total of 16 stitches. This means we are going to make two single crochet on each one of the stitches from the previous round. Let's do it. Go to the first stitch and here I'm going to make my first increase. For this, I'm going to make one single crochet. And once again, on the same stitch, another single crochet. This is my first increase, now the second increase. And the next stitch, I'm going to make two single crochet. One. And two. Now my, my increase, number three. One. And two. Increase number four. Five. Six, seven, and the increase number eight. Like I said before, at the end of this round we will have a total of 16 stitches. Now on the round number three we are going to make one single crochet on each one of the stitches from the previous round. Only that this time we are going through the back loop of our stitches. We usually go through the top of our stitches from the previous round like this, grabbing both of these threads. 
On this round only, we are going to grab the one on the back, like this. And here I'm going to make my first single crochet. Now the number two. Remember, we are not going through these bot loops. We are going through this thread, the one on the back. Now number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We just finished round number 3. And like I said before, it's got a total of 16 stitches. Now on the round number 4, we are simply going to make one single crochet on each one of the stitches from the previous round. This means we are going to make 16 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We have almost finished this piece. Now we are going to join it with the other one. To do it, first we are going to make one slip stitch, like this. Now I'm going to make one chain and turn this piece this way. We are going to work as if we are going on the inside, but we will join this piece. To do it, I'm going through my first stitch and I'm going to grab only the front loop. At the same time I'm going to grab the front loop of this other piece like this. And here I'm going to make one single crochet. While I'm joining with single crochets I'm going to make two single crochet and then one increase and repeat the process all around. So this is my first single crochet, now on the next stitch my second single crochet grabbing both of the pieces and now one increase. And we are going to repeat this process till the end. Two single crochet, one, two, and now one increase. Once again, two single crochet, one, two. And now one increase. Keep going until we finish the round. When we finish about a little bit more than half of this round, we are going to finish stuffing this other part. And once we finish stuffing, we can finish our round.
When we finish joining these two pieces, we are going to make one slip stitch on the first stitch we had made of this round, like this. And cut the yarn and pull it. And with the help of a needle, we are going to hide it. Now I'm using some eyeshadow to make the blush on the cheeks. And with the help of my tweezers, I'm going to put the ring to make it a key ring. And this is what it's going to look like when we finish. I really hope you liked this design as much as I did. If you make it, please remember you can tag me on Facebook and Instagram. You find me as Creando con Musa. Please subscribe and see you next time.